Hey y'all, first time RVers, how you doing? Well, it's day number six, I think. We're still in Yellowstone. Right now we're staying outside of Yellowstone in that Silvergate, Montana area. You can see here we got the top off, but you can also see we've got rain coming down. Not a smart move with these two. They went the top off. Um, we went, okay, Dad. We ran out this morning to uh, look at some wolves that there's a wolves den that we found out about we were looking at them but uh we didn't have the top or anything off luckily we had these panels with us so we were able to put those on to at least keep the front end here that's why maddie's in the front we're just doing 25 miles an hour here through the park heading out so we can get back to our place to put the top on we're outside of like the uh geyser area and stuff this is more nature seeing and valley and stuff but seen a lot of animals. And then we have tonight, what are we going to? Chuck wagon dinner. Chuck wagon dinner tonight. We may explore one of the little towns here during the day and we're heading that way about three o'clock, 3.30. So, whoop, there's some buffalo up there. Bison. Bison, whatever. So we made it back. We didn't get too wet, kind of, uh, Stayed just ahead of the storm the whole time. It's kind of been raining a little off and on here. Got the top on. But Jack is back. We just saw him as we pulled in. Let's go find him. He was just grazing over there when we pulled in, but he's not there now. Look how peaceful. And like I said, we're in Silvergate, but we're going to head that way. About two miles down is uh, Cook City, I think it's called. Cook City, Montana. So it's a little bit bigger town. We're going to head down there and just walk around and take a look. If you had to guess, you'd probably guess that this area was started through its mining. And of course, that's what happened here with uh, where we're staying in Silvergate and, and this little town of Cook City coming up. It all got its start from uh, discovering mineral deposits in 1874 so let's go into the much bigger town but very little town of cook city here we go entering the much bigger but still very small town of cook city there's a museum you got a uh, cook city's uh, drugstore i think up here on the right that's a national historic mark To the left there you have the chamber of commerce if you notice the cars and stuff parked there it's the only place you can get internet in the whole town so a lot of people hang out there for the internet and then there it's the cook city store which is a national landmark up here on the right the the red building you're seeing there a little espresso shop look over here i don't know if most people probably don't know at this point what that thing is in the middle underneath the porch Pretty much just like a lot of this area, the economy is tourism. And of course, you got the beautiful views. And actually, this Asian restaurant says it's sold out of almost everything. Sorry, they will try to get restocked and open again tomorrow. And it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. And then where we're staying, Silvergate is about two miles that way. You can see storm's over, sun's coming out. It was built because of this being a mining town in 1886. This was built as a general merchantile. There's some of the old, some old taps. These guys always scared me, Raggedy Ann. So it's kind of what you would expect a little bit of everything souvenirs, snacks. Pretty cool. Smells pretty old and it leans a little bit. Look at all the 
this old stuff here. Look at these. Yellowstone Gold Mines Corporation. Authorized capital stock. Companies have long gone out of business. St. Louis and Livingston Mining Company. And look at this letter. 1912. Dear sir, we have your message. Reading my last order should read 9049. Wow, that is pretty cool. It's from a flower company in 1912 to the owners of this place. The bar and grill. Minor saloon and emporium. And the beautiful views of the mountains left over from a forest fire that went through 20 some years ago. And if you want to do a little gambling, there's a couple casinos up ahead. Soda Butte Lodge Tavern and Casino. So when that storm came through, it dropped down about 55 degrees. Storm's gone, sun's out. And I'd say we're back up to about 75 already. But with that sun, it feels quite warm. We're gonna head back to the cabin, have lunch, and then get ready to do something else. Look what you have here. You can take a little stagecoach trip. We're pulling into the Tower Roosevelt area. It's where our um, chuck wagon dinner's gonna be. So the cabin rental we're staying at uh, gave us a free scope to use. A lot of times to see some of these animals, especially bear and wolves, you need a scope because they're pretty far away and they sit still. And usually you'll find someone that somehow, some way has found these things and pull over and you can look with through your scope or whatever. But we were just asked by a park ranger a whole group of us were asked to move on because it really wasn't much to see even though we were staring at a bear and two cubs because the traffic was building up and they wanted us to move on so the traffic would clear out which i thought was you know a little odd since that's kind of what we're here for right to see the animals and see the sights but oh well so we're gonna ride around here see what's going on there's all kind of cute little cabins to rent look five miles per hour for whatever reason a lot of the services are shut down in this area I'm not sure why we're gonna look around a little bit and get ready for our chuck wagon dinner look behind me there <laughs> looks like maybe we got some rain hope it doesn't because it's supposed to all be outside we'll see crossing our fingers we leave in about a half hour Heading to our coach. We're lucky number eight. First three there have an upper deck. When we're hooked up. We're gonna take this wagon over to the actual cookout. Say it's about a half hour ride. Oh, Looks like it's gonna be fun. We like to say that about 90% of what we say is true and the other 10% is false. It's up to you guys to figure out which. Um, but there's been a bear that's been kind of frequenting this general area. Um, the river is up that hill and he's been kind of hanging out by the riverside and then he'll occasionally come into Pleasant Valley. Um, but sometimes they come through cookout and you might see a little more activity out of both the bison and the bears. Uh, when we get back though, if you guys haven't already, Golden Hour in Lamar Valley is your best shot for seeing like wolves, grizzly. Here's where we're having our cookout. And this is going to be our view. Got a few bison out there. One I showed you earlier that was dipping around in the sand there. Some people did a trail ride and they're heading out now. They came and ate with us. They're loading up to head out. They did a lot of grilling right there. Got some, a uh, little bit of entertainment going on. But it is starting, I don't know if you can see those trees. We'll be leaving shortly, but it looks like a storm's coming in. Hop in there on that second time through. We'll get everybody to sing along. All right, how's that sound? Yeah. All right, here we go. Happy trails to Coming out and looking at these pretty horses. Look at them. Beautiful, big. 
Big horses. Hi, buddy. No. Oh, yeah. Jack are some of our younger teams, and also our biggest team. Right. Yeah. This Look at you. Jim Bean. Look at the size of those feet. <laughs> They're huge. Yeah, that's the, that's the brawn. I tell you what, though. Look at this. Here's our horses, Jesse and James. Isn't that cute? So you can see, I mean, fog is... Can't even see the mountains back there anymore. But we're going to be loading up here shortly and heading back to camp. And then we're going to load up, get back to the cabin, and get ready for Cody tomorrow. Look at the storm rolling in. Behind me is the sun. You can see our shadows. But it's kind of pretty with the bison sitting out there in that field. One, two, three. We came on See, he's showing his masculinity. Yeah, he's, he's trying to be all mean and scary, but that doesn't quite work. It's so funny. Yeah, we're not afraid of you. It's okay. Have you ever had any, any charge? So we had a pretty good time at that chuck wagon dinner. I don't know that I'd do it again. Really, the, it's the ride. It gets so dusty and you just get kind of pasty in your mouth there, but it was fun. We came back out to the same area out here where those wolves have a den with eight pups. And we caught this. Look at this. Double rainbow. Going all the way down over to there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it real well. That's kind of faint on that side, but pretty dark on this side beautiful ending to our last day here in lamar valley look at that there's actually the end of the rainbow is right there you can literally see it touching the ground what a beautiful ending to a great two-day stay at lamar valley okay well we'll end it with that we're gonna head back to the cabin go to bed get up nice and early and have breakfast and then head off to Cody, Wyoming. I don't even know what state it's in. So as always, thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, comment, and we'll see you in Cody. Bye-bye.